you're not going to be bored anymore, fam. I've got some good news for you. All right. We didn't hear this from our guy. Wait, not that's the not the good news. <laughs> we didn't hear it from our guy. We didn't hear it from our guy. Yeah. There we go. There Lennox, we go. Lennox is talking about money, this, that, and the other. And Lennox, he's already probably even booked for this one. Fam. Probably. Hopefully. This is, well, you don't this... know if it, if all things are, if all things are true and how Lennox moves, right? So now that bro, they're selling merch, like the merch things open up. I believe that Javonta Davis and Ryan Garcia fight has shifted things just small. Like it's 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 added a shift in the industry, a shift in the game, and a shift mm-hmm. in boxing. I honestly feel that because that was a night where a lot had to a lot had to be understood. These guys were avoiding each other. These guys didn't want to do it. You know, um, um, Tank goes to hot boxing and says, I don't think about fighting these guys. Clear. He is no, there's no no clearer way. Tyson was trying to get this fight on for years when they're on a show and you've got um, Ryan Garcia with a little bow tie talking cruddy <laughs> like... There was shadow boxing. Of, hmm, I'm going to hit it with this. I'm, I'm going to hit it with this. Show. <laughs> See, I'm saying we've gone from there and then they had the fight. And what we realized is, well, Garcia has held on to all of his um, his fans stayed the same. Yeah. People still respect him. Yeah. So while it was an L, a lot of people just start rebuild, come again because he put his heart on the line. He he did it. So now Errol Spence and Crawford can feel the same way in terms of we can get this fight on. And yes, people have been trying to separate us, but then life does need a little bit of separation. But it's not going to be the end of the world for the loser. The floor's That's yours. That's real. That's real. And I think it's nice for people to really start to move away from this undefeated nonsense, man. And the thing is, let's be real. It's not even nonsense because Floyd made his under... He was undefeated. He never mm-hmm. made it a standard for you to be undefeated. If Floyd lost, he'd spin it another way for it to benefit him. Easy. You see what I'm saying? So this is the part where people go, oh, Floyd ruined boxing. He didn't ruin it. He just didn't lose. Yeah. He made it special because that's what he achieved. You need to do the same with your story. That's what needs to happen here. You guys need to understand how to frame your situation and make it the best way possible to sell for you. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So for me, I'm like, yeah, no, I think you're right with the fact that the Tank Garcia thing moved it forward because now people are like, you know what? Yeah, fight now. Get them in there. Get them in there and let's have a look at it. And again, because it's like this old school mantra mindset when they say like, and I hate to do this to these two guys, to these two fighters. Yard and Boatsy. It's not now. This fight's going to be worth a lot of money later on. Well, how much money is it worth now? After we waited four years, the value hasn't really increased for me. Because mm. it's not like, again, they said, you you say these things. They said, we stopped each other. We stopped from seeing each other because let's wait until it's a big financial payout. Well, the issue that we have now is you've lost twice. You've been inactive. While it's a big fight, it's like it's not a if big you don't hit the iron when it was hot at the right time, you look could have fought each other loads of times, or all of you look and gone. Like as Dan as he says, everyone fights everyone, everyone they all meet and they all get busy, and we can separate. But again, it's a lot if, of theoretical. There's a lot of theoretical standings for us. Look, if Yard and um, what I see fight now, yeah, is that pay per view? No. They'll make us pay for though. Well, I don't think they will. They're not fighting for anything. But, but what I'm this is what I'm saying. I'm like, is it pay per view? That's because what I'm saying is back then it wouldn't have been pay per view. We're waiting for it to get bigger. But if anything, what's happened is what's he has slipped some as far as public reputation goes. And so's Yard. He hasn't slipped. He had a slip and then he's come back on the Batabiev okay. one. Okay. Right, so but oh, there's, been a, there's been a there's been a difference in how we see him. We still respect what he did, but it's different. Yeah, because the Kovalev and the Arthur situations. Yeah, but because he come back and avenge those, there's still a storyline that's different to Boatsy's. Right, he's been he's mixed it with Kovalev and he lost. Came up short, came close, but came up short. Mm-hmm. Arthur, you kind of put down to when you watch now, you see both fights in hindsight. You say, yeah, probably just miscalculated in the first one. This time round, got it done. Right, mm-hmm. and also with the personal situation that he was going through, 
there's narratives around it that you can explain certain things that have happened. Yeah. Then the Baterbi have lost. If anything, he won point respect points in that one because of how good he did look. Yeah, moral he felt moral victory. Yeah, moral victory. Yeah. So but with Boatsy, because there haven't been any of these storylines, there haven't been any real events. His value hasn't climbed. It could well be. I feel like it's stagnated. It just has stayed the same. I don't feel like it's moved. That's all I feel for Boatsy. I feel like it's just been. That's like what that. I mean. The whole That's time. I, mean. I feel like it's. So I don't say it's gone down. Yeah, you had the little back and forth with um, no, but, Sky. The reason why it's gone down. I don't feel like anything's happened. happened. The reason why I say it's gone down is because nothing stays still, bro. It's either improving or it's on its way down. That's just kind of how life goes. If you stop today doing your thing, it's not no, going to be... No, but you can just plateau and you can just be this. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel nah, like that's, that's still a I possible think... way to put it. Remember, we're talking about people that were on trajectories. Yeah. There is no staying still if you're supposed to be going up. Up and that gradual increase is like, yeah, cool, this is expected. Da, 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 da. Less than that is not is less than expected means it's going down. That's all I'm saying, long term. Mm. So when I look at Boatsy's thing now, I think to myself, Boatsy just in in terms of their their fight building, mm-hmm. it, his his side of the deal is not held up. And when I go back to that video, I said uh, years ago. Yeah. When I go back to that video about the kite analogy, mm-hmm. everyone and you all laughed at me. <laughs> yeah. Well, who's laughing now? Because wow. no. because it is the truth. The fight didn't build because of that side. No, the fight didn't build because they're both not where it, and that's the point I'm making. They're both not like if you don't strike by the iron's hot and fight each other at the right moment, like what we're getting, like this Crawford thing that's coming. That's like now it's it, well. Some people say, "Ah, uh, I bet you the car accident's going to be used." I swear to you, it's going to be someone's going to say they're going to use it. Someone's going to use it. Someone's going to draw for it. There's going to be all sorts of things. They're a bit too older now. There's too much inactivity. There's going to be all sorts of excuses in primes. Again, we're here for it. I, I, I plan. I, I'm going to be in Vegas, so I like. I Wait, hope it drops listen, listen, when it's yeah. time. I'm going to be there. I'm going. I still, I still need to have a conversation with my wife, but I'm planning to be there as well. <laughs> I don't know if you can be. I'm going to be in Vegas. Listen. I called it. This was so funny. I I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I said, "Yo, you know, I'm getting to the fight." And he said, "I'm getting to." You. I said, "How?" Like, <laughs> fam, listen. You're not going, bro. I'm going. I'm going. You're not going. I'm going. <laughs> You're not going. Bro. You can't trigger me. Listen, you know how I get, bro. You know how I get, bro. I'm, I'm get. telling you. Just even if out. man fly, even if I land from the airport straight to the fight. And then I catch a 2 a.m. I'm gonna be there. That'll be the most red craziest. Eye. That'll be the craziest red eye. Ever. <laughs> do you remember how you just got over your last um what do you call it? Jet lag. You want to play no, jet lag games? I was there for ages. It's not the same. You know, jet lag hits hard when you the longer you're there. I fully no. had adjusted to New York time. No, 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 not true. Bro, I yeah, went to Nigeria for four days. It Nigeria hurt. is the same time as the UK. It still hurt. Jet- oh, oh shut up, man. No, 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 no. It's the you're same time. Like, you're, oh, you don't know about traveling, bro. It's a. It's a I don't know about traveling. No, it's, it's not the traveling. Thing. The it jet is a lag is thing. a real. T- I know when you, your body's same time zone. It's the same time zone, zone in Nigeria. I know bro. it's the same time zone, but I'm saying that travel, yeah, bro. You're out. just old. You're just old. Whenever you oh, go out, it's ties you. It's it's not the same. Bro, <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Traveling. This I traveling. went. No, this I came back. I came back and went straight to set. How I came back and went straight to set. How long? Nine hours. Like, nine man. hours, nine yeah, hours. I, gonna, I waited for the hours. plane. Hold on, hold on. And I wait for the plane. Hold on, hold on. I wait for the plane. I wait for the plane because it's Nigeria. I wait for the plane for about three, four hours. Go on. Let me just see how long the flight is. Because you're talking about nine hours. This guy's out here capping. Hey, six seven. six hours, fam. <laughs> and six hours. <laughs> Right six, now, hours. six hours. Right. A common six-hour flight as no, that's, not, that. that's, that's the you're fastest. Old. Wait, old. Hey, that's you're the old. fastest ever, fam. I'm telling you're you right now, you're yeah. Old. You're just old, you think you can, I if you think you can, I want you, yeah. Actually, I'll give you a challenge. Go to Nigeria and get through that airport, yeah, in record timing. I, if, I, if I'm you can do that, to wait, hold on. If you can myself. do that. I'm not going by myself. Wait, wait, get I'm going airport. with you if I go. <laughs> if I say no, go to Nigeria, I get through. I'm like, what? By bro, myself? If you can make it through the airport in record timing, 
All I'll yeah. say is this. Only, say is this. If you could get through the Nigerian airport, yeah, and only manage to give two people money, yeah? These are different conversations. <laughs> no, because yeah. that's... We started off stress. talking about... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's all part of the stress, bro. You've when had a long money... day. That's all it was. It's just a long day. There's no jet lag. so mad. When yeah. you... Wait, I don't need... Now, Jamaica, they're kind of nicer to you there. You just got to give them money at the thing and it'll be all right. Jamaica? Yeah, I went, when I went to Jamaica, I had to give this woman money. It didn't make any sense. She said I had to pay to come to the country. Montego and I had Bay. To money on the way out. It was wild. You go Montego she, Bay or Kingston? Montego Bay. Ah, okay. And okay. then she just put it, bro. She didn't put it in the till, fam. But you have to do it. She <laughs> and she just never, put had it to, never had to do that. Gang Kingston. I, I promise you. Yeah. So you're saying that this is not a thing as well? Because they thought that you're Nigerian. <laughs> no, they saw you're Nigerian. They, you know you yeah. don't know the lay of the land. They said, yeah, yeah, patterning. I, I would have just thrown this at you. <laughs> if I if I went to Nigeria, I'm sure the same thing happened to me. Is what no. It is. no, it's part of there. It's part of it. <laughs> no, it's not because it's never happened to me. I've never once seen that happen. My parents, no oh, one. We don't get treated like that. They mugged you off, bro. They mugged you off, bro. This guy's upset. What, what are you googling? As if the internet is gonna give you the answer. Yeah, that's right. You have to Thing. give money to whoever asks you. To huh? you have to pay. Oh, you talking about the the? Oh yeah, well, nah, I wouldn't have to pay that. There you go. Jamaica has both departure tax and landing fee, bro. AK arrival tax for, <laughs> for passengers who arrive by air, fam. There fam, you go. You made it sound as if someone casually said to you and put it in their pocket. Yeah, no, not, not the not official freaking that. tax. You no, clear. bro. I, bro, I'm no, tired she, of you, and she didn't even put it in the till. She, I was like, what are you doing? Like, And I had to say, if you don't give it to me, you're not, you're not traveling with me yet. Bro, I want now because obviously when it happened, I need to see on. where my money's going. Let's and then she just went like this, bro. The till look, this is what she did. Yeah, remember, you know me in it, and it's not even a lot of money, it's like $35. Bro, I watched my peas go like this under the big. I said, Chiefs. <laughs> Got him. All right, let's let's move on, fam. We didn't even talk about Crawford in that bit, too, fam. Who's winning that? Oh, oh fact, we really did it. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I'll say what I've always said, bro. Crawford. I'm a huge Crawford fan. It's biased. I completely understand. Errol Spence is even Jamaican. None of that is awoken in me, fam. I back Crawford in that fight 100%. I'm a huge Crawford fan. I believe that whatever way this fight goes, whether they're playing chess or they're dogfighting, Crawford is going to come out on top. I believe in that man straight. Why is it like, what's your percentage? 60%? 85. And I understand there's a lot of bias in there. And just believe. 85%. There's, there's bias and there's belief. And there's just the fact I just want men to win. But that's my take. I'm, I'm fully just... I'm fully on Team Crawford in this fight. Do you know like, that? From you day know one. Fans, but you, day I know, one, I'm, I have not, I'm not choosing because I'm a big Crawford fan, yeah? But I still respect. Errol Spence can fight, I'm not bro. disrespecting Errol Spence. But it feels 85% None, of, none of what I said, none of what I said is a disrespect to Errol Spence. If anything, you can call me a Terence Crawford fanboy. Do that instead. I'm not disrespecting Errol, Errol Spence at okay. all. All but I'm saying you, is, I believe in Crawford. Can you understand why some people will look at that and be like, oh, 85% is a... Bro, the 85% like, is not reflective of the, the outcome of the fight. I thought you just said in terms of what do I, what do I want to happen. Oh, okay. terms, I thought, no, you're in terms okay. of outcome, is what I'm okay. looking for. Oh, you want me to just do an objective difference? Yeah, thing? Objective, yeah, 50, what you think? It's 50 50. Okay, I was gonna, but I believe in that Crawford will find a way to win. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so I, I, for me, it's really difficult because one thing we can be sure of is Errol Spence has quality. He has quality. And I think people like at times for, you know, um, when he fought Porter, they said they thought that he couldn't get rough. You know, Errol, like, they say, oh, if he gets too rough for him, he's not going to like it. No, he's fine. He's fine. He just chooses to fight, fight a way that can be elusive at times, but he can go to war. Even when he does, t when he takes on, um, did he take on Kel Brook? Oh, he, he fights him. He fights yeah, yeah. Kel Brook in, this, in, in, in the UK. Right, even that's talking about early in his career, 
comes over here and he gets busy. So it's not like he's got like he's got heart. He's got a lot of heart. He can he can have a war. Even how he a, fought Porter. Really sound. What's that? Even how he fought Porter. How he fought Porter was because he he didn't need to fight him in that way, but he was trying to send a message to everybody watching at home that hey guys, I can do this. So this is why I can't just I can't kind of overlook him in this one. I I still say while Crawford edges it for me, probably like. I don't know, 55%. You know what I mean? Just because of the power. Just because you know he's a knockout man. Just because you know how he's going to... He will step forward and stuff. Just because yeah, I'm giving, I'm giving it 55%. I'm giving it 55% um, to Crawford just on power alone and just what we've seen him do and how we've seen him dispatch many of his opponents. But none of us should be shocked if Errol walks away with the win as a points victory. None of us should be because, again... Bro, he... it's not outside of his wheelhouse to get a KO either. Like, let's not have Errol Spence out here like he's some soft puncher. He can bang. He's not a soft puncher. No, he's not a yeah, soft that's... puncher. But I don't... I, again, I feel like this battle, because of how these men have been... Even if people are getting down, they ain't staying down in this one. No, it's a very... Com- it's two very complete fighters going at it. And I cannot wait. I'm Team Crawford in this one. And I make no no secret about that. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm just again. I'm getting to just watch it as a boxing fan. I haven't, I haven't chosen a, I haven't chosen a side. I, I do like the fact that Crawford. Is, it feels like Crawford's wanted this fight more than mm. Errol. How it just looks on there from just the little oh. interactions and stuff. Well, wait, we'll be there, fam. We'll be there watching the live, fam. I'm gonna be there. Um, yep. Yep, yeah, um, man. Again, what, however you saw, I'll situation. see. I'll yeah. see you there. You ain't gonna worry yep. about my situation, bro. I'll be there. Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.